What's up, my peoples? Uh, I am Gandhi, and today I am going to be talking about a couple different things. The first thing that everyone's probably wondering is why the hell did you go back on your word and say that you weren't going to join Beyond Entertainment, and then all of a sudden, today we find out that you are. That's the first thing I'm going to talk about, uh, which rightfully so, right? Because I, I, hypocrisy looks like it's just a storm cloud over my head, but you know, I will explain that to everyone here in a second. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, something in regards to, to Halo 4 and little mechanics that can be fixed, hopefully, if 343 listens. But if not, it's not a humongous deal, but, but it's big enough for me to come on here to bitch about. So uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and get to talking about why I decided to join Beyond, Go Beyond Entertainment, I believe is the official uh, name for it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is right. So, everyone, if you remember back to the video where I was talking about how uh, I believe that Siren pushed me out of the Halo Council, and, you know, yada, 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 and, you know, I didn't want to get back into it again and, and have that kind of letdown again, uh, here's kind of where I'm coming from. And right now, I, I quit my job at UPS, as everyone knows, which is why I've been streaming a lot more. The other reason is, is because I'm in between jobs. Uh, my jobs that I have lined up coming up are careers. They, they, I will be doing them for essentially the rest of my life. Uh, the first one is uh, is what I have a physical fitness test for tomorrow. It is a Spotsylvania, Spotsylvania County uh, Sheriff's Department. So I'd be doing, you know, I would be a deputy sheriff. I, I would have a fucking little star on here. I'd have a hat. The works, right? Like that's another one. The second job is uh, working at the adult detention center. I, I, on the hierarchy list, I would rather work at the adult detention center because it's 17 minutes from my house. Uh, but regardless, the big thing here it, with these jobs is, is it's about a three to four month hiring process. So there is a lot of downtime here. And the one thing that I've never had in my career is a very, I've never felt like I've established myself as a personality. Yes, you know, I had, you know, the, the USA show back in the day, uh, which did that little shitty 20 minute segment on me or 10 minutes, five minutes, segment, whatever it was. Um, yes, I was a personality. Uh, I had commentating and you guys now watch my stream. So you're starting to understand that more and more, but I, I haven't really left my mark. I don't feel like on the community. And, and that's something where a lot of new faces don't even know who I am. And, and that's like, what the fuck? How do they not know? You know what I mean? So part of it, it, it I have about three to four months to really leave my mark on this community. And that, that's something that I want to do. It's something I've always wanted to do, and it's something I want to always try to do. So in these next three to four months, I'm going to be hammering out content. I'm going to try to establish myself. I mean, hell, there would, there's nothing better in my mind than doing something that I love for the rest of my life, which would be gaming. But as a time being, you know, I'm at that place where I have a five-year plan, and I have, you know, it's time to almost grow up in a sense, and it sucks, but you know, it, that's, that's where I'm at, okay, so, but now let's talk about Go Beyond Entertainment, okay, uh, the reason I decided to join this is, there's a couple, uh, the first one is, after the first day of, of me streaming, and uh, a lot of people thought, you know, a lot, it, it caught a lot of people's attention, people were like, oh my god, you, you pulled this amount of viewers with Ninja in there, and apparently that's a big deal, uh, like I said, I've been clueless, uh, completely clueless, in uh, the whole realm of everything uh, in regards to Halo. Uh, but so that's that's cool. But so Ghost Ayami contacted me. And I, I'm going to always call him Ghost Ayami. I, I've teamed with him since 2006. I've always called him Ghost. I never call him Eric. That's, uh, that's that. Uh, where did my beard go? I have a physical fitness test tomorrow, and i got to shave up. So i got to look presentable because beards aren't presentable in some fucking dumb reason. Even though when someone has a beard, you're like, oh, my God, look at that beard. It's amazing, right? But, moving forward, uh, so Ghost Ayami contacted me, and I was very, very skeptical at first. I didn't want to do it. I didn't. And uh, he, he's persistent. He's a persistent guy, and that's some, something, that's something about Ghost Ayami that's really, really good. Uh, he never really gives up. So for the past eight days, I've been dealing with Ghost uh, contacting me, and I'm a sucker for compliments. And, and he really kind of won me over there. But... The big thing here with this is I looked at it for myself, right? Right now, I'm walking. I'm at a walking speed with how I'm doing. Yeah, my stream's doing well. 
relatively speaking. Yeah, my YouTube's finally starting to take off. Awesome. Badass. I, I mean, I love everything about my supporters at, at this stage. I love everything about my supporters throughout my entire career. That's never going to change. You guys mean the world to me. But with Go Beyond, I, I see a chance to really grow myself as a personality, grow my content, grow the things that I am here about. You know, like this is this is what I love, and I really want to capture that all. And that's a big part of what Go Beyond's going to do. So I'm not, I'm not. It's not like all of my content's going to be theirs. I'm going to do some stuff for them. You know, and I'm going to help them out, and they're going to help me out. Uh, the second thing, the second reason why. Uh, I decided to go with them is because that uh, I'm not the best with technology, right? Like I'm really not. Uh, and Go Beyond Entertainment has a lot of guys who can boost my content's quality up, and that's something that a lot of people, you know, care about is the quality of the things. And a lot of people don't like, you know, this 1970s porn camera I have that's all pixelated and shit. But you know, that's what I got. It's what I'm working with. You know, I try to boost my uh, stream quality up, but now it's a little bit laggy, so I got to figure that out. But that's uh, I, I, I will backtrack. I, I'll do a recap at the end, Legend. Don't worry. The other thing, though, is, is really, you know, that technology piece is huge. So they're going to be able to help me boost, and they're going to be able to pull out the better parts of, you know, my random thoughts, my gameplays, uh, and really make me look better. So really, I, I would say that, oh, I'm here to help the community and everything, but really, you know, I'm here to grow myself as a personality. If that helps the community, awesome. You know, I, I, I think, you know, I think the world of the community, right? Because how the community does this is really how I'm doing. So uh, increase the community, possibly increase me, that's badass. But it, it's really more for establishing me, myself. And, and I hate to be brutally honest, but that's, that's kind of what it is. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, what about the siren drama, right? Uh, I, I would sit here and, and talk about every little intricate detail, but I don't care. I just don't, I don't care enough to do that. And plus, that would be stooping to the level of Jersey Shore and, and, and Buck Wild and, and shitty reality TV shows. And I'm not here for drama. That's not what I do, right? Like, I'm here to promote testosterone. Men being men. Storing feelings and bottling them up until you just fucking explode one day. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I live for. So I'm not talking about that. It's it's whatever. It was it was actually ended up being miscommunications, more or less uh, false information. So that's that in a nutshell. I won't talk about it on this. Maybe when I stream later, I'll talk about it more in depth. But that's that. Uh, the last thing when when I look at Go Beyond is is they have a really good squad all around. Um. Ghost of the Ami, as much as I hate to admit it, uh, he, he's, he's a hell of a leader. He is. Um, he is. He really is. He's just a very, very good leader. And, and that's something that's really good with Eric. He, but with that comes delusion. Uh, there, there was times where he believed that he could nap up every single spawn in Halo 3 and have his teammates stand in certain spots, and it did not work out for them, and they did not make the championships. But you know what? He, he says it with charisma, and, and people follow that. So you know what? I'm taking a leap of faith. So that's that. So really, when I look at Go Beyond here, I, I want to leave a mark on, on the community again. I, I want my... You know, I want my content out there. I want my gameplays out there. I want, you know, the trio of people I'm with out there. I want my humor out there. I want all of these things captured before, you know, I'm clean shaved with a fucking comb over that's already starting to come in. Look at this. I'm, I'm getting older as every day I film, right? Now, like, I'm starting to comb over. Like, I'm starting to push it over. Soon I'll have, like, contacts and I, I'll have a comb over and a button-up shirt, right? And you guys will be like, who the fuck's this guy? LeBron James hairline, right? Yeah, look at this. Look at this shit. It's been like that since uh, 2008, so I'm not going bald, motherfucker. You bite your tongue. And so that's really what I'm looking at. I'm looking to grow my personality. I'm looking to grow my content. I'm looking to get a lot better, and I know Go Beyond is going to be able to deliver that for me. That's badass. I'm 100% with that. Will I help the community out? Yeah, I'm sure, in various ways. Will it be for the better? I don't know. I, I don't really have any restrictions, which is good. Uh, it's not like I, they, they told me to not, you know, to watch what I say, to, to try to be something I'm not. And that's, that's something I'm really looking for. 
the other opportunity I had wanted me to be something I'm not, and I can't, I, and I'm not anyone else here. In these next four months, I'm looking to have as much fun as humanly possible. And that's that. Now, let's get on to something that doesn't suck dick to talk about, right? I know a lot of people like talking about themselves. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I would rather have a normal, casual conversation with someone about random thoughts. I don't like talking about myself. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Especially to you guys, because whenever, you know, like a normal person comes in, they're like, oh, what's like the most interesting thing about you? I'm like, oh, well, I do this thing with gaming. And people are like, oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, like the North Korea aggression. That's badass. Right? Like that is something we could sit here and talk about. And I would love. I would be enthralled. Because we don't know enough to talk about it, but we could start pulling from each other and taking guesses and leaving ourselves with more questions than we had before. Wonderful. That is the perfect, the perfect perfect thing in the world but so let's move forward here um one thing i'm noticing that's really 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 annoying in uh halo 4 is the fact the big fact that i when i'm running the flag when i'm arming the extraction site or whatever the proper terminology for that is i don't care when i'm walking in team slayer when i'm holding the position when i go to hit the select button i can't walk I stop, and I can't even see how many people are dead. What the fuck? Why was that implemented? Why is holding select all of a sudden cancels you from moving? Now, I, I know this, is, this seems very, 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 very minute to a lot of people, and they don't understand why. So here's a perfect example as to why this is important. Okay? So let's say we're playing Capture the Flag on Simplicity. Okay? Good game type. One of my favorites. I like it. I enjoy it a lot. We kill two of them. We're not sure. We're in the heat of the moment, right? We, we slay them. We, we think there's a couple down. We pull the flag, right? Flag guy in traditional Halos would be able to hold the back button. Well, really, Halo 3 and, and Halo Reach would be able to hold the back button and tell his teammates how many are down. So he's running the flag. His teammates are playing. It's simplicity. Okay? It's not simplex. I refuse to call it simplex because that's what it's called in Throwdown is simplicity. Moving forward. I'm running the flag. All right, my teammates are all fucking scurried around the map in dumbass positions because we have no idea how to play the game, but that's that. I hold back. I stop moving. That fucking sucks. Like, it's so imperative to be able to hold back and see how many are dead and how many aren't dead. And I know it's so, so small to some people, but it's like, why the fuck is this in? Like, why would they add that? Like, I don't get it. It's, it, it. it's something that doesn't make any sense to me. And, and I hope... It, this, this has to be the simplest patch in the world, right? Like, it, it, it's probably, you know, like a couple characters, I hope, where it's just like, well, um, all you have to do is, by holding selected no longer cancels out your movement. Perfect. Why that's not like that, I have no idea. That is very, very annoying. Completely annoying to the competitive scene. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Look, I don't care about the specifics of what the map is called. If it's simplex, whatever. I like simplicity better because I, I'm a simple kind of guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, so exactly. I jump while moving forward with the flag and press the select. Yeah, yeah, but so look, right? So why do you have, why have to resolve to that? Like, why not just be able to be able to run, jump, sprint, whatever the fuck, with the flag by holding back? I'm fine with grabbing the flag... By accident, every time that I want to make a push, you know, whatever. If that's what they're going to give us, I'm fine with that. Because, you know, it's okay. Yeah, You have to work on your positioning a little bit more, and you can't really make as done of a plays. Do I wish there was an X button? Sure. I do. The, the thing that I that really, that I started thinking about it um, is they, they kind of reversed it. So now you have to press X to pick up this overshield, which before you just ran over the overshield and you got it. Okay, that's awesome. First come, first serve. You're both sprinting. And you get it. And then you melee the guy. Boom! And you fucking win the battle. But now, you're running. Normal run. Huh? I, I, I got a fucking flag and I got a pistol now. Right? You jump over. You don't have to hit X. And when you're running for overshield, you got to fucking hit X. I just don't understand, like, why that... Like, this, that little thing was so perfect for every Halo. It was so perfect. They had it down to a science, right? Like, they, you played Halo 1, and you're like, what the fuck? 
Like, I grab this flag by accident? I get threed instantly? Oh, I dropped the flag because I was going to shoot, and, and the guy returned it? Okay, whatever, that's fine. And then they were like, okay, well, let's change that for Halo 2. And then they made it an X. X to pick up the ball. X to pick up the flag. Awesome. You never had those random times where it was like, oh, well, I'm charging in the base. I'm shooting this guy. Oh, all of a sudden, I have a pistol and a fucking flag now in a melee. No. Okay. But if that's how they're going to keep CTF, fine. Whatever. I'm here for something much smaller than that. I just want to be able to hit this button right here. I want this button. And I hit that fucking button to see how many are dead. So I'm here, right? I'm here. I'm playing. It's a normal game. Playing. Got a flag. Jumped over it by accident. Whatever. I have it. I hit select. I don't want to stop moving. I want to be able to keep moving. Keep moving. I'm chugging along. Chugging along. Chugging along. I want to be able to keep moving and tell my teammates how many people are dead. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking to switch everything back to the way it was where, you know, this fantastic ma magical world where everything was majestic and beautiful and, you know, virgins were everywhere and women were beautiful and, you know. I'm not asking for that world back where you press X to grab a flag and you walked over the overshield and it's, you know, everything was, and you got the overshield. I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking so... When I go to hit select, I can keep walking. That's it. But, uh, on the topic, if you want to be able to include something where I can run over the flag and press X, sure. That's awesome. But really, I want select back. Give me my select back. I, I think uh, select deserves it. Select barely gets touched as it is. It, it's, you know, you never use select besides to see how many people are dead. Um, what you should not do is add some kind of a feature that, that says how many are dead. You should not do that, ever. Just let me hit select. Uh, that's really all I got for today. Um, uh, the big thing was uh, the Go Beyond Entertainment. Yeah, look, man, uh, look. Okay, so I'm, here, we, here we go. I understand the whole juggling flag, right? I understand, you know, everyone liked it. It was fun, whatever. I didn't do it. I hated it. Whatever, fuck it. Um, I can understand that appeal, right? Like I, I, I know a lot of people like to, you know, the jump throw, the jump throw, your head up, your head up. It's whatever, moving forward. But if they're going to, if they want to add this new system into where, you know, you get a pistol and you can just wheel and do it, that's fine. It's whatever. Give you a couple more points. Everyone's happy. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck it. Just let it be that I can press it with X. You know, like that's kind of like the happy medium I'm looking for. But, you know, whatever. That's that's that. I, I would rather have my select because it's something that seems a lot more realistic to get uh, from 343. But I I if none of them's the case, then I might as well just sit here and bitch about everything. You know? Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to pick my battles wisely here, right? Like, I don't hate the game on a whole. And, and I, I think looking at that really it changes your perspective right because you don't want to just drag this game down you just want to kind of we're at the we're at a point now where it's very easy to drag this game down like anyone can do it anyone can fucking tie a weight around its legs and just fucking send it down could i ask them i don't think my word holds any meaning i don't um not at this point and maybe not ever but anyone can really send this game down, and it's very easy to turn away and walk away from it, but really the fact of the matter is, is this game's better than Reach, and I'm having fun playing it. Team Throwdown's a blast. Um, so really, we have to work on, we have to pick our battles that we want to win here, and by God, if I have to pull a Rand Paul and filibuster for 12 hours on the importance of select, I don't think I can do it. I'm good for maybe, you know, the the... I'm looking like I have a fucking watch, right? Imagine, like, I, I have a watch. And I fucking look at it, and I'm like, well, I've been talking for precisely seven minutes. Um, I, I, I can maybe last seven minutes talking about why select should be... You should be able to walk when holding select, right? Like, that's, a, that's all I got. That's all I got. So... We just have to pick our battles here. Um, I highly, highly doubt we'll ever get sprint taken out. Um, that's that. I'm kind of used to sprint. To be honest, I wish I could... I don't know. Nope. I got one more thing to bitch about. 
<sighs> Let me. I'm just, I'm getting into the moment here. Okay. Um, there is a big problem that I'm having with assassinations. Uh, the problem with assassinations is the animations. I cannot, for the life of me, not animate someone, ever. I've went from boxer, recon, default, to bumper jumper, and now I'm, well, actually, it was reverse order, right? It's, you do these fucking animations that, it's not, you don't hold beat down. Dude, you, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to animate someone. When you're animating someone, it, it's like three fucking seconds. You, like, come behind the guy and you fucking stab him in the chest and you fucking rip him down. You don't want that shit, right? Like, the other day, I, I, I was jumping, right? I, I jumped behind this guy and I, I went to just melee, just a melee, normal right bumper tap, or left trigger tap, whatever I was playing at the time. Normal left trigger tap. And he fucking jumps on this dude's back and, like, brings him down. And snaps his neck. I was I was fucking assassinating the guy for three seconds, three fucking seconds. Like a lot can change in that time, especially on a smaller map. You don't want that. The tackle's even worse. You hit the guy with a double leg and you fucking bring him down, and then you just, you know, and you make it in. Now, I don't know how sensitive it is. I don't know if it's because I have these big, dumb, giant, fucking goofy hands uh, that are strong. Um, or what it is, but really they should, I, I think they should put in, like, a little toggle switch. They, they have toggling for everything. You can still toggle crouch, which I kick ass at. Um, you can still toggle crouch, which I don't think anyone ever uses ever. So why not toggle animations? That is very nice. I would love to have that back. If you don't want to do it, you know, whatever. I'll just keep throwing games by trying to assassinate people. But if you can toggle animations off, I will be 13 times better of a player. A hundred percent. I will get quick back wax. I mean, I only get like two or three back wax a game anyways, right? Like, that's a good game. But the fact of the matter is, is when I get them, they're animation. So sometimes I won't even get the kill because I'll get my face ripped off. Like, on a drift, it happens all the time. And, and uh, it, 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 everyone, it, it's like an epidemic right now. And everyone knows what's going on with it. Everyone knows that when you go to melee, you're in the heat of the moment. You're in battle. It's not like you're not you know, gonna fucking give it all you got, you know, if the guy comes beside you, all of a sudden you get startled, BAM, right, and you're thinking you're gonna go for a quick, but really, you fucking reach out of your Master Chief belt, and you come behind this fucking guy like Dexter, and you fucking stab him in the chest, and you like hold his mouth, and you fucking drag him back, and you're like, ha ha ha, rest in pieces, motherfucker, right, like that's, that's what ends up happening, but it's, they really need to add a toggle switch off, for me, for me, so now to to wrap uh, ev everything up, what do you mean not Master Chief? This is a fucking Master Chief. I should grow a pair. Listen, Mayor of Migdur, whatever the fuck your name is, how is that growing a pair? If anything, I'm a man because I pull out my knife and I fucking stab people in the chest. So number one, your argument's invalid. Number two, moving forward. Number three, never ever again even think you can speak to me like that. Moving forward. Um. So to wrap up, I am, uh, I'm going to be going, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God damn it, I killed that kid. Uh, he tried so hard, but it was just like, I had to put him in his place, you know, like, he got out of line, I had to put him in his fucking place, you know, um, but so, so recapping it, um, uh, so the reason I joined Go Beyond Entertainment is because I really want to leave my mark on the community again, right? Like, I feel like I haven't left a big enough mark, and that's something I want to do again. Uh, with that is going to be coming, uh, you know, increased amount of content. I'll be able to do gameplays because I don't have the technology or the skill to do that. Uh, so people are going to be helping me out with that. Uh, the second thing is going to be promotion. They're going to be helping me out. I'm going to be helping them out, and we're going to grow as one, which is awesome. And that's exactly what we're uh, looking for here. Uh, the thing with Siren was uh, one who's, uh, I guess, a big miscommunication. Uh, but really, you know, it's whatever to me. I don't, I, I'm at the point now where I don't care uh, about anything. So that's that. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about, or the second thing that we talked about was the select button. The fact that I believe we should be able to walk forward 
and hold select at the same time, no matter when holding the flag or not, so you can get to a position and let your teammates know how many are dead and how many aren't. Uh, and then the last thing was toggle animations on or off. I always animate. I, I don't think anyone doesn't animate because if you just tap the button, one, you're probably a little girl. You probably got little girl hands. All right? I'm a man. I have man hands. See these things? Man hands. They got calluses. Man hands. Right? Like, I'm going to hit an assassination. That's that. Uh, but so other than that, uh, tonight's going to be an early night for my stream. Uh, I don't really know what uh, time uh, I'll be on or what time we'll be getting off, but I got to be thinking I'll be off before 11. I got to get up at 6 a.m. and I haven't been up in 6 a.m. in way too long. Uh, so please don't don't throw uh, anyone any unnecessary hate. You don't need to give people you know shit uh, because of my regards. I don't give a shit. It's whatever. Uh, but that's that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I am going to be a bitch. I'm sorry. Look at me. I'm fucking tired. I got a baby face. It's my bedtime. I got to go to bed. That's that. Uh, but so that's going to do it. Um, if anyone has any questions for me, uh, my Twitter uh, is right here. Uh, just send them over that way. On the Twitter, uh, I have uh, my emails in my bio. Uh, send me any questions you guys got. Uh, but I'll be throwing up the stream probably around 7 p.m. So stay tuned. Love you.